Hi, my name is Mark Belage. I'm president of TorontoEntrepreneurs.ca. Have you ever heard of companies becoming digitally disruptive but not sure what that means or how they go about doing it? Well, let's define digital disruption in the first place. It's a transformation that is caused by emerging digital technologies and business models. So for example, how Uber changed the taxi industry, how Netflix changed the video rental industry. These are examples of digital disruption. So how do you go about doing it? Well, here are some tips and ideas of how you do it. Number one, focus on the strongest aspects of your business first. What do you do very well? What areas are you not as good at? Number two, find your weaknesses and where you can fix those. Number three, partner or work with large innovators. Reach out to them. Talk to them about what your industry is and map out the steps of what's involved. Number four, Speak with developers who build websites or apps and walk them through the steps in your sales process or your customer support process and see where they might see some opportunities to streamline. Next suggestion is meet with your competitors and suppliers to discuss what steps can be automated. You're stronger as an industry, not just yourself. So reach out and speak with people on that. Read, read, read. What is going on in your industry? What are the trends that are happening? Know your industry inside and out. Next point is look at similar industries to yours. What changes have they made? What changes have they gone through digitally? And maybe you can copy or emulate some of those. Next point is ask questions. What do your customers or clients not like about your industry or how service can be improved? Number nine, what are the manual steps in your sales and customer support process that can be automated? Number 10, what human labor is involved in what steps and which of those steps can be automated to remove employees and the touching of paper and the increased steps involved? Think of everything, everything from your customers paying bills to how they order from you to how shipments are delivered. These are all examples. Set up focus groups with your clients. Ask them what their frustrations are in dealing with your organization or with your competitors or industry. Don't wait. Start today or you might not be around tomorrow. If you think of Blockbuster and what happened to them years ago, they had a huge monopoly on the video rental business. They could have certainly created something like Netflix, but they waited too long. So don't be like that. Wait, do, do things now. Don't wait till tomorrow. So in conclusion, every industry is at risk of being disruptive. There is not one company or industry that is safe from being impacted right now. With globalization happening every day, you are not only at risk of companies in Canada, but also at risk from companies worldwide. Make sure you're not in that industry where you didn't miss the boat or you didn't see it coming. Be the leader. Again, my name is Mark Belage. I'm president of TorontoEntrepreneurs.ca. I want to thank you for watching. Feel free to visit our website at TorontoEntrepreneurs.ca where you can find out information about our upcoming events for the Toronto Entrepreneurs Conference and Trade Show. And also feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Be happy to talk about business and see if I can help you with your company. Again, my name is Mark Belage, president of TorontoEntrepreneurs.ca. Thanks for watching.